Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got a bunch of great news for you. We're talking about Duck Station, Skyline, Yuzu, and Aether SX2. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation emulation with Duck Station. In my opinion, Duck Station is probably the best PlayStation emulator out there. Earlier on this year, Stenzek, the developer of Duck Station, had a massive disagreement with RetroArch, and the result was basically Stenzek no longer interested in working on the open source version of Duck Station. A lot of people thought Duck Station was dead. However, if you check out the official Duck Station GitHub page, Duck Station appears to be very much alive and well. There is an update about 20 hours ago. Stenzek even confirmed that the closed source version of Duck Station is not dead at all. And the closed source version is available on Android. So for those of you worried about the future of Duck Station, you can breathe a huge sigh of relief. It's absolutely fine. If Duck Station isn't updated as frequently as you might like, just remember two big things. Number one, Duck Station is in a pretty darn good place right now. And number two, Stenzek, the developer of Duck Station, has been absolutely killing it with PCSX2. Stenzek has been helping out the PCSX2 team immensely by introducing a whole bunch of new stuff. In my opinion, this is a perfect example of how small the emulation community is and how much the developers actually matter. One developer can have a pretty huge impact on emulation as a whole. Stenzek is a perfect example of that. Moving on now, and we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. The other day we reported that Ryujinx could play Kirby and the Forgotten Land at 4K at 60 frames a second, and it appears that Yuzu can as well. Thanks to the collaboration with The Boy 181, Yuzu is running Kirby and the Forgotten Land at 4K resolution, 60 frames a second, and 21 by 9 aspect ratio support. On top of that, the Yuzu development team has identified a pretty massive VRAM issue for Nvidia GPUs. There is a workaround which you can try out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, that will reduce memory usage by up to 60%. There is an official fix, it's currently in early access and it should be pushed to the main version relatively shortly. So on that note, if you have an Nvidia GPU, like me, keep your eyes open here for a Yuzu update. As soon as I know more, you'll know more. Moving on, and we're still talking about Nintendo Switch emulation, but instead of PC, we're on Android now. We're talking about Skyline. Skyline has had a bunch of major breakthroughs lately, and these breakthroughs keep continuing. Super Mario Odyssey, you can see 3D rendering is coming along nicely. We can now see Mario and Cappy pretty darn clearly. It's not 100% there, but it's getting better. So I'm just gonna take a second here to give the Skyline developers and actually their community as well a big shout out. Thanks for being amazing and keep up the great work. For those wondering when we're actually going to get good Switch emulation on Android, it's coming. Moving on here, but still talking about good emulation and Aether SX2, the PS2 emulator on Android, just got another update. We talked about these details in the past as they showed up in an alpha version. But if you have Aether SX2, make sure to keep it updated. When you update it, make sure to reset all of your settings just to make sure everything works okay. In this latest update, we have a few great features. The first thing is a fix for BIOS importing, saving, and file related functionality in Arabic and other locales. They fixed inverted touchscreen layout in the Arabic locale. And this last one here, a lot of people are really excited about. They've added in support for macro buttons. If you like macros, Aether SX2 now supports it. If you want to learn more about the macro buttons, I'll leave a link to Aether SX2's official Patreon page in the description below. Feel free to check it out. They're explained in detail here. There is support for four macro buttons in total. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Aether SX2, Skyline, Yuzu, or even Duck Station. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.